Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you being today. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to do two things, and that is to uh, one, apply music or sound onto your wallpaper, and also make the wallpaper into a audio visualizer in Wallpaper Engine. So what outcome are we looking for today? So again, we're going to do two things and uh, one's very easy, one is a little slight, slightly more complicated, that's all. So the outcome obviously with this is essentially we're going to have it so it looks like this. Okay, you've got the bars at the bottom going up and down and it turns into an audio visualizer with the sound in the background. So I'm going to get rid of things that we need and just go from scratch. So the first thing and the most easiest thing to do is to um, is to get the sound uh, and import, import the sound onto your wallpaper. So the first thing what you need to do to do that is go on to add asset go down the very bottom to sound it says add looping background music or randomly playing ambient sounds and click ok so in my case i need to bring in the other one uh, which is up there I'm going to turn that down. Let's keep it a two but mute an editor. So I don't hear it right now. Uh, so that's that uh, for the first first part of uh, things. Now, granted, it will come up here um, with the sound icon. Uh, just drag that out of the way uh, so it's not in your not in your uh, line of view. If you I mean, for me, it kind of breaks my concentration a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, I digress. So the second thing uh, is a little bit more complicated, um, and that is to make the visualizer itself. Now, there's two things you'll need. Uh, there's some scripted text, uh, which I've done all the work for you and managed to get that from the tutorial on the Warpamber engine site. Uh, so got that. And I've also got um, a bar uh, PNG, uh, both obviously in the link in the description box below. Uh, but yeah, again, I digress. Let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find that particular um, PNG. And uh, let's bring that up here. And basically, we're just gonna, what we're going to do is, if it uh, if it lets me, going to drag and drop it into the wallpaper. Now make sure this box is unticked, and click OK. It's a four by four PNG. So next thing to do. Uh, is to adjust the origin so what we're going to do is do minus 15 it's just how it is and zero so it reaches the bottom uh, and that's for that for the scale origin etc for where we need the bar to be placed uh, the next thing to do is to bring up the script which is this stuff. I'm going to copy it. And next thing to do is to, on the, on the bar uh, picture itself, go to the cog in the right hand side, click it, and then click bind script. There we go. 
Okay, so we'll come up with this. Um, we don't want we don't want any of this script, so just delete it. And it should take you to one. If it has more than one on there by accident, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's just so it'll it'll still work. Just obviously be careful. Uh, just make sure you get rid of all if possible. Um, but yeah. So in any case, uh, we're going to now uh, paste that in. So you can go through um, step by step if you wish by pausing the video to see if it all matches up to your standard. It should go up to about 50. So and that's that's pretty much it for that. Um, now the most important thing is we need to press the compile uh, button in the top left corner and this will compile it and as you can see in the middle here um, on the top of the wallpaper you'll see uh, this popped up called run preview so once that's once that's done you know it's worked and just click OK and uh, that's pretty much it um, let's test it out so this can uh, bug out by the way um, so don't be like alarmed if it doesn't work the first time uh, just simply uh, close the program down and then uh, restart it and it should work so in any case, let's go and hear them preview it. And there you have it. And as you can see, that's working very, very okay. Very good. And uh, that is how to do a audio visualizer and import sound onto our wallpaper. I hope you found the tutorial uh, informative. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe onto the channel. That would be much appreciated. Also, check out my uh, Steam Workshop if you haven't done so already. Um, link in the description box below. Um, I will obviously have the bar texture um, or bar PNG in the description box with the text as well. Um, and uh, yeah, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.